Um, okay, my number nine is Songs for the Deaf by Queens of the Stone Age. Yeah. So this came out in 2002. And admittedly, I haven't heard every Queens of the Stone Age album, but this is definitely my favourite. And I think as far as what I've heard, in my opinion, it's better than anything before or after. So it's just this really cool, like, desert rock odyssey. And it, I think it kind of marked Queens of the Stone Age out as one of the, the coolest bands in existence at the time it came out. And um, it, it's just phenomenal. I mean, the, the first track, You Think I Ain't Worth a Dollar But I Feel Like a Millionaire, is, is absolutely brutal. It's just got really savage vocals, big heavy riffs, and like Josh Homme's like crazy noodling guitar lines. And I mean that's the opening track, and then the album ends on um, well, there's actually a secret track. It's called Mosquito Song. It's one of those secret tracks you used to get on CDs mm. where you'd wait a couple of minutes and then another song would play. Yeah. And Mosquito Song is sort of um melancholic acoustic track that, that turns into this big bombastic kind of brass filled monster at the end but like I said it's an odyssey it goes on that sort of journey I mean everyone um, who's ever listened to music ever will know the song no one knows um, it's it's absolutely iconic at this point just mad stabbing guitars grumbling bass there's that huge moment where the, where the bass and the, the guitar solos kind of duel one another. It's just a genius track. It might be a touch overplayed at this um, stage, but the testament to that song is it's still good, even mm. with the amount of airtime it has had. One of the sort of coolest things on this album is like there's little snippets of, of radio, like, like, like you're listening to you know, a radio station. Um, on a sort of road trip through through the desert or something, and that for that reason it's a perfect album for a road trip. Some of the other songs people will recognise straight away are "First It Giveth" and "Go with the Flow," but real standouts are um, the likes of "Song for the Dead," which has got a weird sort of B movie monster movie synth at the start of it, which um, which gives away to this um, sort of grinding electric guitar and just a mad sort of technical. Drum solo with, with sort of strange timings, and it sort of loops that until it kicks in with these haunting ooh and ah vocals, sort of squealing guitar fills. And I, th- I would say that's that's probably the best song on the album. It's just it's so inventive. There's so many cool things going on. There's even some sort of Latin grooves and sixties kind of rock and roll aesthetic on them. Another love song, which is probably the poppiest track on the album and there's other you know there's equally as catchy songs like god is in the radio which has got some even sort of doo-wop kind of style vocals amongst the kind of rolling bass um keyboards and, and stabbing guitars so this is an album i've listened to a lot and it just never gets old so that's um songs for death by queens of storage <laughs> 